My name is Tom Otley, I'm the Editorial Director of Business Traveller and welcome to the latest of our videos during this time of pandemic. Uh, today we're looking at the subject of what the airlines are doing to help you retain status and keep your miles uh, during a time when of course you can't do much flying. Right, let's start off with Aer Lingus. Aer Lingus has offered 350 tier points to concierge tier members. Um, 200 points to platinum, 100 points to silver and 25 points to green. Aeroflot has extended uh, elite level status for members of the Aeroflot bonus frequent flyer program through until the end of February 2022. American Airlines at the time of recording this hasn't decided what it's going to do, uh, though that will probably change because the other two big US carriers, uh, Delta and United, have as, we'll, uh, as we're about to hear. So um, please go to the website if you want to know about American. Um, British Airways, well at the moment um, what they've said is we are writing to impacted executive club members to let them know that we'll be lowering all tier point thresholds by 30% um, for all members due for renewal in April, May and June. It means that uh, those members will retain their status for another year regardless of any flying activity. They've also got a lot of information about gold upgrade vouchers and companion vouchers and the trick there is to um, go to our website, you'll be able to read about it and then follow the links through to um, find out even more. Cathay Pacific, um, the Hong Kong flag carrier is offering what it's calling relief points for Marco Polo Club members in February, March and April 2020. I'm sure this will um, be then continued as this pandemic continues. Uh, how it is worded at the moment is diamond gets 140 points, gold 65 points and silver 30 points. And if your membership is expiring in uh, February or March, additional club points will be credited to your account. Moving on to Delta, Delta was the first of the major US airlines to announce its um, policy and basically what it's done is extended tier status for members of SkyMiles. Um, so SkyMiles medallion members will enjoy the same loyalty benefits throughout 2021 as they've enjoyed in 2020. Now for Emirates, Emirates has said the following, attaining tier status, Emirates Skyward Silver, Gold and Platinum members with a tier review date prior to the 1st of March 2021 will retain their current status for a further 12 months with just 80% of the usual travel requirements. Now I'd imagine they're going to do something about that because 80% of travel um, since at the moment they're not flying at all and they're only going to have a gradual return to flying, not many people are going to make that 80%. They've also said they're going to extend miles validity um, because, uh, well, you don't want those going out of date. So um, they've extended the validity until the end of this year. Um, its Skyward miles can be redeemed up to 11 months in advance uh, for, for those um, rewards. But again, I think that will change. Um, Etihad, um, they've uh, gifted a monthly bonus tier miles from March 31st. Um, they're sharing that with members at the moment, but I haven't got further details on that one, unfortunately. Finnair, Finnair Plus will have their tier status automatically extended for six months. Singapore Airlines. Now, Singapore, has, the airline has told us that it's renewed the membership of selected Chris Flyer, Elite Silver, Elite Gold, PPS and Solitaire PPS club members for another year. It means that these members have membership validity periods ending in February and March 2020. That will go now on um, to February and March 2021. United, um, all Mileage Plus members who currently hold Premier Silver Gold, Platinum or 1K status will see their status extended um, until January the 31st 2022 and in addition United has reduced the thresholds for reaching each status level by 50% for 2021. And then lastly, Virgin Atlantic. Um, the airline has extended both silver and gold uh, tiers. So um, gold and silver tier members need to earn 1,000 tier points for gold and 400 tier for silver to maintain their status for another year. These members will have an additional six months to do so. There's also a, a voucher extension for Virgin Atlantic. Great, well that's it. As I say, um, that's actually the edited highlights of what we've got um, in terms of information. So if you want to know about some of the other airlines, some of the Middle East carriers um, in particular, um, we've got all that information on the website. So please do head over there. If you've got any questions, um, do send them through and we'll address them. We've got some videos coming up where we're talking to experts um, about what the airlines are doing. So if you've got any questions for them, please do let me know. Let me know whether you um, want the suit, the tie, no tie, or go back to casual as well. At least then I'll know you've um, watched to the end of this video. Until next time, thanks very much.